Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Got uh, Price of Business contributor Sam Coyle lined up. He's with a great company called Netrepid.com. He's a regular contributor here on the program, bringing great content and information. Uh, and he comes on very often. We're always delighted to have him on. Before you introduce your guest, uh, Bill Craig, uh, Sam, tell us a little bit about Netrepid. Sure. Thanks, Kevin. Our our company is a, a data center provider. We have uh, we provide virtual hosting and and cloud services to clients all over the world. Um, we're based out of uh, out of Harrisburg. We've been around for about ten years. Very good. And your guest today? And today we have Bill Craig with us. He's the president of Webpage FX. Very. Uh, Bill, good. if you can talk to us a little bit. Bill, why don't you sure, start absolutely. off with uh, Bill? Start off with your elevator speech. Kind of give us an overview of your company. Sure. Well, hey, thanks for having me on here today. Super excited. And uh, yeah, I'm the president and founder of Webpage FX. And what we are is a uh, full service digital agency. So uh, basically, uh, customers come to us and they're looking to increase their uh, online business, online brand, and we kind of help them grow using the web. Very interesting. So uh, tell us a, a little bit about the history of the company. And then I have Sam ask the next question. Go ahead. Sure. Absolutely. So, yeah, WebPageFX, I started out as a college kid. This was uh, about 96. The web was just kind of taking off, uh, you know, kind of creating some websites. Aunt and uncle need a website, make a few bucks kind of thing, and stayed freelance for a number of years. And then, uh, you know, after that, we the, uh, in Pennsylvania, they have some uh, incubators, and this was about seven years ago. So it was just uh, my wife and I, we were kind of doing it, working out of our house, and we moved into the incubator just as we started hiring employees. And, uh have since over the last seven years, it's just the two of us, and now we're up to uh, 50 employees. So, uh, you know, a lot of great growth and a lot picking up a lot of great customers along the way and helping them grow. Yeah, very good. Sam? Yeah, Bill, we've, we've talked a lot about the success that your company has had, and you've been able to reach not only kind of local local clients, but also some on more of a national scale. I thought maybe you could kind of talk about some of the different web needs that, that a, a small to medium-sized company might need versus, you know, a nationally recognized brand. Sure, absolutely, Sam. So, yeah, being here in Pennsylvania, um, I mean, certainly working on the web, I and mean, we kind of eat our own dog food. So we've been able to go out through search engine optimization, social media, content marketing, such as blogging, and uh, establish a name for ourselves, you know, nationwide, or we even have, you know, international customers here at WebPageFX. Um, you know, so it, based on my experience of around 500 customers, working with maybe, you know, 20 customers, maybe on a more on a stock exchange, and then, you know, some smaller and mid-sized businesses, you know, my experience across our customer base has been, you know, kind of that mid-sized or smaller customer, they tend to be a little bit more, um, you know, revenue-focused. So ultimately, you know, if they're a plumbing company, they're looking for leads, you know, related to plumbing. If it's a restaurant, you know, they're trying to get patrons to come in. So they tend to be a little bit more revenue-focused. They're really targeted in on leads. If it was e-commerce, certainly they're targeting on sales. So they're really kind of watching that bottom line and trying to maximize you know, every dollar that they have in their marketing budget being spent online. You know, a larger brand kind of, uh, you know, kind of falls into not that they don't have some of the same goals that they might be looking for, for leads or revenue. Um, I, I'd say they kind of take a little bit more, you know, kind of branding approach where they might be let, investing a little bit more in social media or online, you know, ad buys, display advertising, um, you know, some of those more investments that are probably a little bit, further away from the actual lead or the sale, and they're trying to continue to establish themselves and, and build up their brand ultimately online and kind of build some of that interaction and community around, uh, you know, a larger company versus, you know, being um, extremely lead-focused or revenue-focused. Yeah, that's interesting. When you, when you uh, find new clients, what is motivating them to consider a firm like yours? Sure, absolutely. Well, I think for us, um, you know, we're, we're we try to be, you know, very revenue focused. We've built a lot of our own software and tools, um, you know. So on, um, we have uh, kind of like lead managers. We have call tracking solutions. We have uh, some of the other technology going back from to grad school that I created my own search engine in grad school. We've kind of built that. We have some engineers here. Um, so really, we're trying to tell the customer, hey. You know, this person came in off of a Google search. Here's the pages that they were on. Um, and, you know, it's even to the point where this is the page that they were on maybe before they placed a phone call and called you. So we're trying to, you know, really, you know, step up the measurement, and which is, is nice to do online. Sometimes you have a, you know, uh, maybe a billboard on the side of the road. It could be a little difficult to figure out the ROI. So a lot of what we're trying to do is we've built a lot of technologies and a lot of tools to really zero in on, 
you know, we don't want to just push traffic. We want to push people who are going to convert into, you know, end customers. So, you know, tying into CRM, some of those other kinds of things kind of gives us, you know, some of a, a little bit of a, an advantage, I think, in the marketplace uh, by being able to show in, hey, you put a dollar in and you're getting $2 out in profit. This is a, you know, certainly the web channel is a great one. And, and you know, we feel you should, say, you know, increase that slice of the pie versus uh, maybe some other avenues that, that aren't being tracked or maybe aren't producing at that level for the customer. Sam? Yeah, so there's, we hear a lot about market share. You know, you talk to Intel and Microsoft and Oracle, and they're all, they're all comparing kind of their market share, their slice of, of the, the economy. Uh, and, and SEO kind of gets a, a four-letter word connotation over the time, over time because there's a lot of uh, less reputable companies out there. Why, why is using something like search engine optimization or web marketing critical to getting more of that web that internet market share, why is that, can you maybe explain why that's just as important as, as traditional market share? Yeah, sure, absolutely, Sam. So I think if you took a look at, you know, kind of the online channel and, you know, online marketing, I mean, you know, no surprise, you know, newspaper and, uh, you know, some other kinds of traditional marketing, let's call it a little more interruption marketing, even, you know, TV, those kinds of things, people are they're just kind of skipping the, you know, DVR and some other things or Netflix. I mean, th- you know, it's a lot of things are changing out there. So on the traditional side, you're kind of seeing, you know, that a little bit of that interruption going away. And I think, you know, a lot of that comes back to, too, you know, the web channel, if you look at it, I think uh, HubSpot has a good study out there and some other studies are out there uh, around the web. But typically the cost per customer acquisition on the web is certainly going to be a lot lower. You know, on the web marketing side, um, if you think about how people are really searching uh, if I'm buying a home, if I'm looking for a dentist, I'm looking for a plumber, those kinds of things. I mean, things like the yellow pages are really aren't being used a whole lot anymore, and everybody's kind of switching over to, you know, you know, looking for information and doing a lot of research. So, you know, if you, the, you know, really the search engine marketing tends to be the highest ROI that we see out there, and you know, based on some independent study too. And if you think about, you know, when you do a Google search, or you do a Bing search you know, really you have some ads at the top and you have some ads down the right-hand side, and then you have a, that main search results page. So about 80%, maybe 85% of the clicks of where people are actually clicking on that page are going into kind of that organic or natural traffic. So it's really important for businesses to be in, the, in those results, those organic, what I call the organic or natural Google results, because if, if you're not in there, let's say you were just doing some advertising, you know, you're missing out on that 80 85% market out there. So that's really a great way. It's one of those things, too, and when you're doing advertising, maybe you're paying for every person that visits your site. If you can get some solid ranking, certainly that takes some work. You know, getting yourself on the first page, top five, top three, first position of Google for various search terms uh, can require some work to get there and even maintain that if it's in a competitive area. But it's kind of the gift that keeps giving. Every day you're getting that traffic, yeah. and you're not paying for every visitor coming into your I, website. So I, when executed... It, it can work really well for you. Got to ri- got to wind it up, and I imagine you're probably due for uh, an oxygen mask by now. Uh, that was pretty impressive there. Uh, your ability to hold your breath, uh, but that was great, <laughs> great information there. Fantastic, in fact, and I want to encourage people to get more information about it. Bill Bill Craig, he is with WebPageFX.com. Uh, obviously, a great enthusiast and uh, well versed at what he talks about. Thanks so much for being our guest. All right. Well, hey, appreciate it, Kevin. Thank you, Sam. appreciate you guys having me on. It's been great. Thank Sam you. Coyle is with Detrepid.com. He's a regular contributor on the program. Great guest. Thank you Thank you for bringing him to us today. Yes, thank you. We'll talk to you soon. All right. When we come back, much more for you. If you want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com, and you're listening to The Price of Business. Mm-hmm.